What's up dudes, Max here. So it finally happened, Killer Instinct Season 2 has been revealed and the first character we're gonna be seeing is indeed TJ Combo. Now, all you guys saw the trailer, there's a little bit of a cinematic part at the start and there's a tiny glimpse of gameplay, just raw gameplay that happened within this trailer. And we're gonna break down some of the things that have been confirmed recently outside of the trailer, comparing that to the stuff that's actually going on with his gameplay. Now this is all gonna be based off this trailer alone, but I do encourage any of you guys, if you're hanging out right now, if this is your first time to the channel, stick around because I'm gonna be playing TJ a whole bunch at E3, getting a full breakdown from the developers, finding out what's going on with the, with the remaining of the season and seeing how season two is actually gonna pan out. But let's talk about TJ first and foremost, and that's his overall design, how he looks, which is the most, uh, kind of one of the most important things in fighting games. And when I first saw TJ, it didn't, it didn't spark like a huge like oh my god type of reaction he looks like tj combo but a bit older um m many of the comparisons i've seen is that he kind of looks like patrick ewing and his face has got a lot more age on it his face has got a lot more kind of like personality in a way but not in a way that you would think in the killer instinct verse more like he's an older guy he's seen a lot of shit and now he looks like he's a much uh, he's a much different changed person as the trailer is describing it's kind of like a story of redemption with the music and the dialogue and then you actually see him rise up to the occasion of like ultra tech oppressing him as you can see with like his background is like this half blown out thing on on like half of a city and there's this huge skyline in the background it kind of looks like very reminiscent of um something along the lines of like robocop or something like that with ocp his stage is actually really cool um but as far as tj's design i kind of felt a little flat for me um i don't specifically hate it i don't think it's just god awful i just feel that it's not like super hype um i did feel that some some of the previous TJ's designs weren't the most hype possible because TJ is kind of a unique character. He's the everyman. He's just a dude, pretty much. But in Killer Instinct 1 and 2, when you actually watch TJ play, his biggest strength is that when he gets in close, you look at this guy and it's like he's just a dude going up against like werewolves, skeleton monsters, dudes on fire, ice aliens, and raver, raver chicks, and all of a sudden you just got this guy, and it, what's this guy supposed to do? And when you played the original Killer Instinct, the thing you, the thing you understood is that once TJ gets in close, his punches are so fast and they're so fierce that they can even beat up the most wicked of opponents. Like, it doesn't matter if you're an alien or the undead, TJ could beat your ass because he's that fast. And so far from my initial reaction, he doesn't seem as quick. He seems more of kind of like a, a huge lunging character, kind of like an MMA fighter, which is what it kind of looks like he's been redesigned to. Kind of a mixture of maybe MMA, because he's still got his boxing shoes on, but he's got these MMA-style gloves. Um, that you can see several times throughout the trailer. He's also got reminiscent of scars all over his arm, making me think that he actually had the cybernetic arms removed completely, which is why um, you hear the line of dialogue, uh, I made a mistake once and now I'm starting over. So that's a, that's a, good, that's a good sign that TJ is actually a redemption-style character. The problem with this is that you have this character that's trying to redeem himself amongst the public, amongst people who love him, and then you kind of have this situation where TJ now is kind of boring as a result. However, this is not demonstrated when he actually starts fighting. He, he does look pretty fantastical when he's fighting, like jumping around and thrusting forward and huge punches that actually like wall bounce and stuff like that. If you notice that his actual, uh, like his big heavy punch, like thrusting move throws Fulgore into the wall. I don't think that that was a cinematic thing. It looked like that's actually what it does, which would be pretty freaking awesome. But at the same time, I think compared to some of the rest of the characters, he looks a little tiny. He kind of does appear somewhat smaller than the rest of the cast, especially when you see him in the gameplay, and I, I specifically feel, it kind of feels like TJ's so rooted in, like, reality, kind of more so than the rest of the Killer Instinct cast, that TJ kind of feels like he comes out of a UFC game, like, just the way he looks, not the way he fights specifically, because the way he fights is kind of, like, crazy Killer Instinct superhero-ish, but his, his overall look, I don't think, is that much of a superhero, it's a normal guy, um, and then you have a character like Thunder, for example, who's a normal guy, but has these amazing spirit powers where he can turn into birds and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. He's huge. He's like he's like a walking mountain, as an example. And I would almost wish that TJ was the same build, like the same huge, beefed out, like super, super buff kind of dude. But in, in the comparison to the roster right now, I kind of feel that TJ looks more like a regular dude and not a superhero, while the rest of the cast definitely look like superheroes. From his gameplay so far, like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to ride TJ too much, but I, I feel like he plays like a, super, a superhero, but he doesn't exactly look like one. But uh, over time, I was watching 
seeing him and watching this trailer over and over again, and I didn't dislike his design as much. It was kind of growing on me. I think the overall thing that's kind of bugging me is his kind of lack of hype in his overall just look and like, where the hell did his eye patch go? Like, I don't understand how he how he grew an eye back. Was the eye patch fake in Killer Instinct 2? I mean, we can all just say that Killer Instinct is a reboot. They could probably ditch that whole story thing whatsoever, but it's just kind of weird for him to lack that little bit of a character trait because I thought it was kind of interesting and kind of cool. Um, overall, TJ is changing the game a little bit in gameplay. He's got this thing called Recapture, and there's this overall juggle mechanic changing in Season 2 called uh, Recapture, which is a different way of doing aerial combos, and I believe we see this a few times in this trailer. There's a part where, specifically against Sadira, TJ jumps up and does this slam down move, which we see a couple of times, but this time, there's a brief, brief, brief glimpse of Sadira standing back up after, even after a juggle state. As you guys know from Season 1, once you get somebody up in a juggle in Killer Instinct, you can't bring them back down and you can't cash out that damage unless you did so uh, during like a launcher ender or something like that. But it looks like you might be able to actually bring people out of the sky and then maybe bring them back to the ground to cash out the damage? Um, I've been reading a lot of opinions as far as what recapture could be and between all of them and what I think it could be, a lot of guys were saying that they're thinking it's going to be this thing where you can bring them back to the ground and then finish the combo in some way, which would be pretty cool. Uh, as long as all the rest of the characters get something like that, which might be really interesting for the majority of the cast. That might make some characters very good, and that might make launcher enders way more useful than they were in the original season one. So that's a pretty big system change. The other information we got is that there is going to be a total of eight characters for season two, and we're going to see the game launching indeed this fall. So between all we saw in TJ, between how I feel about TJ, I can't say too much about his gameplay and what he's doing because I just want to play the game. But what we have right now is also a reveal at the end for a very obvious character. I think we all know who this is. TJ looks behind his left shoulder and there appears to be a sound effect of like a flame burst and this huge fire effect that pops up right behind him. And right before he says, is that the best you got, Ultra Tech? And all of a sudden this thing appears, which is most likely highlighting Cinder. The other neat thing to identify is that he says, is this the best you got, Ultra Tech? And then Cinder appears behind him, meaning that Cinder is indeed a product of Ultra Tech, similar to what he was in Killer Instinct 1. So I, I like this. I think that's I think that's awesome that they're teasing Cinder. I'm glad that Cinder's going to be in this one. There's a very small chance that could be Ripter, depending on how you, you associate the hissing scream noise that happens with the fire. There's a chance. I doubt it'd be Cinder and Ripter following behind TJ beating up a robot, but either way, that's my summary of thoughts. I'm pretty sure we can guarantee that there's going to be a universal system change, probably for everybody, with this like aerial recapture combo thing, as well as TJ most likely being a rushdown heavy style character. What I'm curious is that is his moves going to be charge motions like Saber Wolf or are we going to get like half circles and I mean sorry quarter circle motions like the majority of the cast. Either way I'm a little I'm a little lukewarm on the way TJ looks. I'm looking forward to seeing how he plays because he looks like he plays really hype. It's just that the character itself doesn't like reach that level of like superhuman looks that the rest of the cast of Killer Instinct does but I think that's why they that's why they reserve things like classic costumes you know what I mean. So I don't know I, I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm kind of iffy on it. I'm going to let it sit for a little while. Let me know what you guys think about TJ, the way he looks and the way he plays so far. Like I said, don't go anywhere, dudes. I'll be back as soon as I possibly can with gameplay impressions and interviews with the developers talking about the future of Killer Instinct and Killer Instinct Season 2. Thank you, dudes, very much for watching. I appreciate a thumbs up on this video if you get a chance. My name is Maximilian, and I'll see you all very soon. <laughs>